Hello guys, welcome to the channel, I'm Jimmy, and today we're going to be uh, having Imperial Guard versus Necrons, and just like I previewed or said at the end of the last battle report, uh, we've got a special guest, my mate Paul. How you doing? Uh, so yeah, before, let's, uh, let's just go straight to the armies. Let's do it. Okay guys, this is my 2000 points of Necrons, these are the Swamp Crons, um, I'll just go through the HQ units first. So we've got a Cryptek Warlord here. It's taking the Warlord trait Thrall of the Silent King, which increases pretty much every ability on his data sheet by an extra three inches. He's also got the Veil of Darkness. The other HQ unit that I've got is a Catacomb Command Barge, and he has the Voltaic Staff. And then they're accompanied by two Royal Wardens, one here and one here. Obviously I have two units of 20 Necron Warriors. They are using Gorse Reapers and the Indomitus rules for those reroll ones on reanimation protocols. Going into Elites now, I've got two Triarch Stalkers with Heat Rays. Um, have the Satan Shard of the Deceiver here. And then it's into Heavy Support. So I have nine Heavy Destroyers and a Necron Monolith. And just to tie it up, I had to borrow one unit of Jimmy's Scarabs, which aren't in the colour scheme, but hey-ho. That is my 2,000 point list. Right then, guys, this is my 2,000 point of uh, Imperial Guard, or Astra Militarum, for their copyright name. Uh, I'm going for the Regimental Doctrine. I'm going for a custom one. I'm going for Expert Gunners, which allows me to reroll one of the dice. And uh, Jury Rigger Repairs, which uh, allows them to get pull points back or uh, wounds back. So I'm starting up with, uh, I'll start with my Warlord. He's got a Punisher Gatling Cannon and Heavy Bolt Sponsons. He's also got the Grand Strategist um, Warlord trait, which on a 5 or a 6, if I use a Command Point, uh, I can roll to see if I get it back. Up next, we've got another Tank Commander. He's got the Battle Cannon and Heavy Bolters giving him the Relic Curvo's Aquila. Moving on to the infantry squads. They're all basically the same, except these three units here have a uh, multi melt uh, not multi melt melt gun, sorry, and a plasma gun. Uh, then we've got three dedicated transports chimeras with all heavy flamers. Up next, we've got uh, three Bulgrims. And next to that, we've got a Scout Sentinel with a multi-laser, just because I have 35 points free. Uh, then I've got two Lehman Rust Executioners with just hull mounted heavy bolters. Got Laz Cannon, heavy weapons team. And then finally, the big boy, a nice Hellhammer Bane Blade variant. And then I've got the Tank Ace Steadfast Leviathan, which gives him the regimental doctrine for expert gunners and jury rigger repairs. So I'm giving him hull points back. I keep saying hull points, it's wounds. I'm stuck in 7th edition, guys. Oh, well. Right, yeah, this is my 2K list, and uh, we will see you in deployment. Right, so roll off, see who goes first. So good luck guys. Let's give it a go. Yeah, not so good. What is that? Better than a one. <laughs> Would you like first turn? Yes. <laughs> so that's it. Uh, Necron's turn one coming at you. Okay guys, so pre-game movements. I just used the Satan Shard of the Deceivers 
grand illusion ability. I got lucky, rolled a five on the D3, so I could move three of my units anywhere on the board outside of nine inches. So I decided to move this Triarch Stalker close to this metal box Tetris that's going on over here, um, the Monolith, and my Catacomb Command Barge onto this lovely vantage point right in the middle of the board. I also moved the Deceiver into this sneaky little spot all the way in the corner that Jimmy unfortunately left a tiny little yeah. space. Literally, that's the nine yeah, inches there. Yeah, that's the nine I, inches. Which... I should have taken my squad back here and had them more here, but mm. you live and learn. Indeed, and Jimmy's scout move with his Sentinel just moved a bit closer to objective marker three. Okay guys, so Necron's turn one movement phase. I forgot to mention that we're Mephrit, so we'll be getting that sweet minus one to AP at half range. Um, I've basically moved all of my models, well, almost all of my models forward on the board using shenanigans, which I'll explain now. So with the Deceiver's Grand Illusion, I moved the Monolith forward. And so I used the dimensional corridor stratagem at the start of my movement phase to pull one of my units of warriors forward and have them disembark. And then they could then make their movement. So they disembarked out of the front door of the monolith and then moved their five inches forward to get into those half range for the gorse reapers, which is lovely. At the end of my movement phase, I then used the veil of darkness from the cryptech to put a whole bunch of warriors down in this building here. The Cryptek obviously has Thrall of Silent King, so he has a six inch bubble of his Technomancer ability to give them then plus ones to getting up. And that's about it. The destroyers moved over into this building here to get a little bit closer, better vantage point. These destroyers moved over here because they're gonna Take a look at that Chimera over there. I'm hopefully going to pop open these tanks and get rid of all those Guardsmen. Let's go for the shooting phase. Okay guys, we're gonna start with this Triarch Stalker shooting this Sentinel here. It's using a heat race, that's heavy two. We'll be hitting on threes. Double ones. That's how I roll. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm kind of deciding on who I want to shoot here, but I'm going to go for this this Chimera. Let's not get snake eyes this time, please. I still miss both. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This unit of destroyers here, I'm going to use extermination protocols. So that's uh, one command point. You want to roll your thing, to see if you get that command point back. Uh, no. You don't. Right. So I get to re-roll to hit into wound with these destroyers. I'm going to need it after the first two rolls. So I'm going to be firing with the main blade. That's better. Three yeah. hits. And it's tough as eight, strength nine, so threes to wound. Lovely. Three wounds. So it's just 3d6 damage. Then. 3d6 damage. Lovely. So that is 15. So the destroyers did a massive 15 wounds on the... Babel. What the hell am I? I keep yeah. saying Babel, that's right. Uh, so yeah, absolutely mental. So you're doing the second lot of destroyers into... Into the Bane Blade, see if I can't finish it off. Uh, but I'm not getting rerolls this time, so we'll see. Uh, get to reroll ones, because they are destroyers. So that's two hits, Ooh. and it's three to wounds. Two wounds go straight through, yeah. 2d6 damage. That's 11. I think the Bane Blade is dead. Does it explode? No. <laughs> All right. That gives me a big advantage. These heavy destroyers are going to shoot at this Chimera here, try and open that can. We used to hit. We rolling ones. Three hits. Three to wound. Two wounds. Go straight through again. Two yeah. six damage. That's eight. Eight wounds on the Chimera. Fire the Voltaic Staff 
bring this guy into this, try and open it up. Hitting on twos. Missed one. Ooh. And it's strength six, so it's going to be with me on fives, right? One wound. Right. That's AP minus three, I believe. Six of both. Which you Wee, well done. Yeah, so using the gorse cannon into I'm the I'm also cannon. going to fire yeah, his gorse cannon into that cannon and try and pop it open. So that's hitting on twos again. What's that one? Just the one, yeah. And then fives. Nothing. Right, the monolith is going to fire its weapons now. Yep. I'm going to fire all four of these gorse flux arcs into this chimera and try to pop it open because it's being a cockroach. <laughs> and I'm going to fire the particle weapons at the other chimera because he's been sitting pretty because this guy can take him up all the fire. Cool. So, gorse flux arcs first, hitting on threes. And we're wounding on fives. We got three. And that is AP minus two. So, five up, six, five. five. Uh, one, two, one, one. Ooh. Oh, one, one left. Okay. Right, well, we'll do the um, particle whip. Yep. So, that is six shots hitting on threes. And its toughness is seven. seven. So, threes again. Right, so that's all up four. This is AP minus two, so five ups. This on this uh -huh. uh, eight, one, one failed. Well done. Only one failed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right, and, and <laughs> it's just D3 of damage, which is only one. Just the one. Well done, Particle Whip. Right. I'm going to fire the Cryptex Staff of Light into that Chimera. I really, really want <laughs> to die. Let's see how this goes. Two hits, fives, nothing. Why won't you die? Lucky, lucky Chimera. Yeah, messed up. I was bringing a Hellhound originally in this list and they've got 11 wounds. So for some reason I saw the Chimera sachet. The sa <laughs> sachet, you saw the Chimera sachet? The sachet, the sachet of the Chimera. No. Um, yeah, basically you saw me thought it had 11 wounds, it doesn't, so let's see if it explodes. No. Fantastic. Get those men out. Get them out. Get those men out. Okay, so, these warriors in here, seeing as they've not really got any other big targets around here, are all going to fire their Gorse Reapers into that kind of there. So that's 20 shots, it's rapid fire 1, but they're not 7 inches away, they're 14 inches away, so we'll just go 20 dice here. Hitting on 3. Oh, and it's going to be 5 to wound. Uh, what have we got? Just the 1. Ooh. It's AP minus 2. Yep, that's right. A damage. Why I wanted to open the cans first. Pop them squishy little men apart. Right. Do we know what we're doing with the next one? I'm having a little thing. I'm having a little thing. Okie dokie. Okay, so with these 20 warriors, I'm going to put eight of them into this squad here, which will be 16 shots. I'm going to put eight into this squad, and then I'm going to put four into this guy here. Okie dokie. Is it where? Fancy. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Right. Okay, and then this is strength five, so the last cannon guides are half. Plus three, so three. Quite a lot of ones there. Oops. There yeah, was a three one. and this one. Yeah. Okay, so not so great. Not so great. Um, that's wounds on three, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wounds on the last cannon guides. Minus three, they'd have a four up save, but that minus three negates it. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Right. So, so 16 shots again. Hit on twos. Can I spot any other ones? There's one there. No, I think you're all good. Okay, and then we're in on threes. Look. A uh, couple of ones there. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 wounds on these men here. 
Uh, that's uh, deleted. <laughs> that's deleted. And then four guys, so that's two, four, six, eight, into whatever the plasma tank is. Hitting on twos. All hit. Wounded on five. Mm -hmm. uh, that's three wounds on five. AP minus three. Sixes. Uh, two, two damage. Two damage on that tank over there. Uh, is that all shooting done? I do believe that is all the shooting done. Brilliant. Right, we'll just uh, tally up the points. Oh, wait, combat, you're charging. Well, that's the next phase, right? Yeah. We'll come back right after this. Right, charge phase. Uh, so what are we charging and to what? This Triarch Stalker is going to charge into these two guys here. Yep. And the Satan Shard is going to charge into these two. Cool. Uh, where are we starting then? We'll do this here because it literally can't fail. Yeah. Yeah. And we're watching. Yeah. Okay. And then the Satan Shard into these two. Oh, yeah, plenty. Yeah. Seven inches. Uh, I will elect to watch with this tank first, though. Go for um, it. I'm going to use. So that's it. They're both in. So, yeah, going into the fight phase. Go whenever. Okay, so I'm going to direct all of my attacks into his commander because I don't want him using those funny, funny orders. That he's got. Yeah. Um, so, four attacks, hit on twos. Not bad. Uh, it's strength seven, toughness. It's a leader eight. rust. Eight, so it's five. So Ooh. Not oh one. Just the one. Uh, it is AP minus four, damage three. Straight so three, three straight damage away. straight away. You could say about five to wound for a stand shot. How mental is that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, it's to stop him from shooting. I know he'll probably still be able to do his orders, but these guys won't be able to shoot now unless he's got some funny stuff. <laughs> Shenanigans. So. Three attacks. Yeah, three attacks. I'll put that into the uh, Chimera, actually. It's actually stand to do some damage to it. I don't want that toughness eight hitting me in the face again. So hitting on threes. Two hits. Uh, strength seven, toughness seven, so fours. Nothing. Nothing. But at least we won't have to shoot. Tanks hitting back. Yeah. Um, How many attacks does it get? So, uh, I've done the crushing strategy on this guy, so he's hitting on twos now. Uh, he has um, he's got now. three attacks, so I'm hitting on twos. Okay. Uh, all hit. Strength. What is it, strength? Yeah. Well, that is two wounds. It's two sixes. Uh, so, yeah, we just missed that on camera there. Um, managed to wound. Four times with the tank and... Four, three. three. You've done that twice now. I don't know why I've done that. Three, three. wounds, There's... two failed answers. <laughs> There's three dice there, guys. Failed in one saves, get it right. Yeah, failed guys, in let's just... Right. right, let's move on to the next tank. Yeah, let's do this. This time he is hitting on uh, sixes. I wish you will, mate. One. <laughs> Going on fours. Which yep. you do. I'll yep. fail this in one. No, nope, I actually Which managed it for once. We... Cool, and then we'll do the same again with this Chimera. Oh, uh, Chimera. Demon Ross. In on sixes. <laughs> got three sixes, didn't you? <gasps> well, it's toughness seven for the Triarch Stalker, so force. <sighs> force to win. This is the. What kind of tanks are these? Make it blue for Bane Blades! They're tank <laughs> tanks with swords. Uh, it's a dog! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jiffy. Right. So three, yeah. yeah, three armor saves. Fine. Yep. Chimera, three attacks. Misses. Thank you. Um, that's it. Yeah. Um, so, so we'll go to the uh, tattooing up points for the first. Yeah, time. and then we'll uh, work it all out, and then yeah, Astro Miltar in turn one coming up. Yeah. Okay, guys. So my secondary objectives were engage on all fronts, teleport Homer, and bring it down. Just tying up the points here. I have models in all four corners of the board, so that gives me three points for engage on all fronts. I have killed the Bane Blade, which is three points, and I killed the Chimera, which is two points. So all in all, that's eight.
Imperial Guard, turn one. Uh, very, very good Necron first turn. Devastating, really. Um, some great shooting. Kind of left me on the back foot, but I'm going to try and do what I can. So, what I've done is I've moved the, on this side of the board, the Fulgrens has moved up onto Objective 2. The Scout Sentinel has gone over to 3. Chimera's shifted up. This guy's just moved up a couple of inches, and hopefully his Punisher shots going into those will hopefully get rid of a few. Uh, he's fallen back from combat, and I've brought this squad around here to just uh, charge into this Satan Shard. And then I have taken the Chimera out of combat and fled him up towards that objective for hopefully future turns. But I've got a feeling those uh, destroyers will probably pop him. But we will see. Um, yeah. On to my shooting, turn one. So where are we starting first, Mr. Jimmy? All right, I'm going to start with the Sentinel going into this. Uh, Try That's one. I almost called him a tomb scarab again. Um, Please don't make me laugh. <laughs> hitting on fours, two hits, wounding on fives, uh, one wound. Uh, it's your just regular three up. Okay, it's fine. Um, I'm going to go 2d6 with the Chimera with the heavy flamers and some these guys here. So, uh, two. Because uh, of expert gunners, I can reroll one of the dice, so I'll reroll two. Shouldn't have done, because it's now one. <laughs> Uh, automatically hits its strength uh, five against threes. four threes and it's not very good. Uh, two at minus one, so you got two up armor. Four up armor. No benefit cover. Yeah, but they have four up armor normally. Oh, they yeah. get benefit. I cover. was thinking of immortals. Yeah. So no matter how many again? again? Uh, just, just two. Just two. Ah. Right. Right. Uh, I can shoot the multi laser rain so That's another six shots. Yeah, okay, falls. Nope. This is going brilliantly. <laughs> right, I will quickly think of what I'm going to shoot next. I'll be back with you in a second. Cool. I'm going to use my tank commander. I'm going to do uh, gunner's kill on sight. I'm going to fire everything onto this squad of warriors here. Uh, shooting his Punisher Cannon. I'm going to shoot it twice, but I'm going to roll 20 dice and 20 dice again. Okay. So it's hitting on threes, re-rolling once. Not bad. Five miss out the first lot. You're shooting twice after half moon, isn't it? Uh, up to half moon. There you go, yeah. shoot. Yeah. And then threes again. That's four out of that one. Cool, right, I'll tie that up and then see you in a second. Uh, so 31 hits, wounding on threes. Uh, so one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 miss so far. 10 miss, so that'll be 21 armor saves. Yikes. Alright. I could lose half of them yet. I think that's Jimmy's. <laughs> Jimmy's on the go right now. So that's 20. How many did you say? 21? 21. 21. 21. Alright, so. Pause. I'll reroll one of these. Okay. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven guys go down. Wow. Half, half. Uh, the three heavy bolters on the. Oh, done. No. Yeah. Uh, three heavy bolters on the front. Hit in on three, three rolling ones. I don't like seeing that door. I've seen that door, I see. So eight, and then strength five again, wound in. Threes. On threes, this is minus one this time. So. Yikes. Another five. Uh, An extra two, so that's 13 in total. It's 13. Cool. I'll remove them all. 
Yeah, going for the heavy bolter now into these tan shards. So hitting on uh, the minus ones, hitting on bags. Two hits. Uh, expert gunners, I can reroll one. No, oh, they missed. And then fives. Uh, fives. Yeah. Uh, one at minus one. No, makes no difference. Right. Cool. Uh, and then the same with the other one over here, into this one. No problem. Uh, All three hit. hit. What is with these tanks? Super tanks. Super tanks? No. Uh, oh, right. No wounds, though. They can hit, they just can't wound. <laughs> they can't wound. <laughs> uh, is that it? I think that's everything for the shooting mm, turn. Okie uh, dokie. Yeah. Do you know what you're charging or do you want a little thing? I'll have a little thing. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to charge these guys into the sand charge. Sand charge? Yeah. Sand charge. Sand charge. Sand charge. Sponsored by who was on the adverts? Gen Jessica Ennis. Right, come on. Let's, uh, let's think of Eric. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're in. We're in, guys. Uh, right, we'll bow back in a second. So the guardsmen are attacking the satan charge, so hitting on uh, false. Ooh, well, that is not very good. Three, Jesus. <laughs> and then six is good. At least I get two wounds. <laughs> I will, yeah. Four up in one, I'll fail. One of them, one at least. Yeah, so he needs to come down. Oh. Yeah, will down. Guardsman punched a star god in the face. <laughs> For the Emperor! <laughs> Cool. Uh, as it's your turn, you get to choose which combat you'd like to go first in. Um, I'll go with the Satan Shard. I'll put all of his uh, attacks. Wait, actually, hang on a minute. You can still use that crushing thing, can't you? Yeah. And given the way those and those tanks are toughness seven. Oh, sorry, strength seven. They're toughness seven. Um, so in terms of attacks, I'll still attack the tank. Okay. Cool. Over a tank. Dooms. Followed by still fives. You've got two fives. Two. Um, it goes straight through and deals three damage. So six damage in total. Uh, I will elect to use Crushing uh, to get the stratagem back. Thank you. Uh, right then. So D uh, D three attacks with the Lehman Russ. Two. Alright. And a hit on twos. Oh. Command reroll. Screw it. <laughs> Yay! Uh, wounding on fours. Fours. Hey! Jesus. Whittling him down. Oh, but he's oh. fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, stalker? Yep. Stalker to attack next. The stalker. Team Scarab. <laughs> Uh, two hits. I think it's still fives. Yeah. Uh, one at AP minus one, I believe. And that goes through damage. It'll just be one damage, I think. But let me just double check that for you. Right, stalkers. Massive ball. It's a D three. <laughs> just one. <laughs> I'll command reroll that. Hey. Two. Hey. That was so worth it. <laughs> So, end of my turn one, not a good turn whatsoever. Um, not really, anyway. So, I have scored at least two points for engage on all fronts. Uh, my assassinate, I'm whittling down this satan shard, but everybody else is still currently hiding off in everywhere else. And then I have... 13. Uh, 13 towards in their ranks thanks to the slight firepower from this guy but still right anyway on to necrons command phase turn two okay guys so my command phase turn two i've only netted five points for controlling this objective jimmy moved his chimera up to this one to contest it on a one-to-one -one model basis because these two guys are not in range and because i'm a moron I thought that I captured my primaries at the end of the command phase and not the end of the movement phase. So I moved my scarabs away from this one and lost out on five points. But hey ho, you make mistakes. I'm going to cast my will be done, but I'm going to cast a command point for the Phaeron's will to be able to do my will be done on two squads. I'm going to point it to my warriors here, squad one and squad two. So points gained, five.
All right, guys, uh, Necron's turn two, movement phase. So I just moved these destroyers a bit closer over that objective marker. Going to try and open that tin can. Uh, Triax Dorfer didn't move. Um, these warriors, 10 of them came back. And so they started moving a little bit closer. The uh, Cryptek with the Canoptek Canop cloak flew over there into the deployment zone and started setting up a teleport homer. Um, these other Necrons here, they spread out a bit. So they spread a little bit over here to make sure they're getting in that six inch range of the Thrall of the Silent King Technomancer ability and spread a little bit over here so that they are controlling this objective. The Catacomb Command Barge didn't move. The Monolith very slowly lumbered forward. The uh, Scarabs moved back over here and uh, captured the <laughs> objective marker that they should have captured at the start. These destroyers moved into this crater for a sweet two up armor and this stalker got closer to that sentinel. What we're about to do is fall back the Satan Shard from this squad and Jimmy's going to make a desperate attempt to cause mortal wounds on me on sixes. Yeah, I'm gonna do the cut them down strategy for one CP. So let's see if I can roll these sixes. Uh, I need a four again, so come on, four sixes. I see two. Uh, if I could command reroll, I'll command reroll one, screw it. Yeah. Right. So, so two mortal wounds. That brings the Satan Shard down to just two left. But he's scot free and the guardsmen are in the open. Oh, one thing that I forgot to do in the first turn is now that my movement phase is about to end. I'll move this guy, say, over here so that he's protected. And then I'm going to use my Satan Shard power that I forgot in the first turn. Yeah. Cosmic Fire, which is everything in nine inches, which will be all of that. Enemies in nine inches, not friendlies. I roll a d6 and on a four plus, it's d3 mortal wounds. <laughs> this commander tank over here on a four plus. Yeah, it's D3 mortal wounds. How many? Just one. I'm going to command reroll that. Ooh. For three. <laughs> Not that one, that one. Oh. Cheeky. Cheeky, cheeky. I can't, I can't <laughs> remember what that one. Oh, no. It's on four, so I'm going to take it down one. And then this has gone down. Oh, three three mortal wounds. The guardsman, whilst you're doing that, on a four up. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, this executioner on a four up. Yes, how many wounds? Two. Two, not bad. And then this tank over here on a four up. Yes, yeah. how many wounds? Three. Three. I, might as, I might as well have just left it. <laughs> yes, you might as well. Cool. That's onto the shooting phase then. Yeah. All right, so extermination protocols for another command point. These destroyers into the Gatling Cannon guy, because he really needs to die. So on three. That's three hits. Three to wounds. Rerolling. That's three wounds. Uh, it'll go through. Straight through, it's 3d6 damage. Well, I'm going to command a reroll. <laughs> it's, it's dead. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. Command reroll. That, yeah, there we go. Does he explode? He does. <laughs> uh, he's only going to hurt your own guys. Indeed. Um, uh, and the Cryptek, probably. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get that measured up, guys, and we'll be back in a second. So the explosion hits this unit, or this unit of warriors, this unit of warriors, and the Cryptek. So we'll do the Cryptek first, D3 mortal wounds, uh, for three. All right. And then this unit here, for three more. And then this unit here, for two. Wow. So we'll see if this Triax Stalker can actually use his gun properly this time. <laughs> He hits once. Not better than last time, I guess. Um, it's strength eight, a, it'll be three, won't it? Three. Mm -hmm. It wounds, it's uh, eight minus four, I think. Well, it's Melter was on. So 2d6 picking the highest damage. Oh, does that have that rule? It does. Five damage to the Sentinel. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> well, okay, um, brilliant. All right, so we're going to get the other unit of destroyers here to shoot this Chimera. That's our warriors. That's three hits. 
It's three wounds, that's three wounds. It goes straight through, 3d6 damage. Oh, three sixes, 18, it's gone. Wow. It does it explode? Right. Uh, see if the Chimera explodes on a six. No. I've got Ten guys inside, do they die? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, no, nope, we're all good. Three. All right, these destroyers into this Chimera. Uh, that's three hits. Three to wounds. Only one wound. Damage. Six. Yes. Okay, rapid firing the Royal Warden's Relic Ghost Blaster, I believe it's called, into the Chimera. So threes to hit. Oh, not so great. Um, pretty sure it's five to wounds, two. Nothing. Okay, so Monolith shooting now. I'm going to fire the Particle Whip into that Chimera. I'm going to fire all four Ghost Box Arcs into this Executioner right here. So, Ghost Box Arcs first. Hitting on threes. And then wounding on fives. Not bad, not bad. And this is AP minus two, I believe. So, fives to require. Uh, two are saved, two go through. Okay, so that's just two. two damage. Some down. And then the particle whip into this Chimera. That's six shots. Hitting on threes. Not so great this time. Half. Half's okay. Um, and then it's threes to wound. Two wounds. This is only AP minus two. Two wounds. Uh, two go through. Okay, so um, this is D3 damage each. Uh, that is five. That will be a dead Chimera. Does the Chimera explode? Does not. Guys inside? Uh, one dies. Okay, so Catacomb Command Barge is going to fire his Gorse Cannon into the Executioner, and he's going to fire the Voltaic Staff into these four grids right here. We'll do the Voltaic Staff first. Hitting on twos. All three hits. Full grin toughness, Jimmy? Five. Okay, so three to wounds. Oh, only one wound. It's AP minus three, damage two. Five upset. Five upset. Yeah, that makes it. Um, gorse, gorse cannon into this executioner. In on twos. Uh, this will be wounded on fives. Nada. What's next? Don't think. Don't think. think. <laughs> well, I'll give you a second to think. Thank you. Okay. Staff of Light from the Crypt Tech into the Executioner. Hitting on threes. Come near you. Five. Oh, man, I saw a six there from Lincoln and I. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so there are only 15 of these warriors left, so I'm going to split it seven, eight. Eight into the Executioner, seven into these Guardsmen over here. So we've got a bit of a mixed bag with guys who are in rapid fire range and guys who aren't. So we'll do the Guardsmen. The Guardsmen first. We've got five in rapid fire range and two that aren't. One, two. Um, okay, that's everybody. And then three to wound. Uh, da, da, da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wounds. Um, one is at AP minus two, and the rest are at AP minus three. Ah, the guardsmen. Oh, the guardsmen. So, eight. Uh, eight in total. Eight in total. Bye bye, guards. It's just one guy. Two. two of these. I'm not going to be AP minus three. So the rest of the tank. Twos. Wrap it up. Not so. And this is all fives, isn't it? Let's come here again. <laughs> oh, oh no. That's not good. Not good at all. Only two. Um, 
But that's two AP minus three. So two six up, or, or it's had it. It's had it? Does it's it explode? It doesn't. No. Off it goes. Excellent. Okay, so I've got 18 warriors left in this squad. Five of them are within rapid fire range of the Bulgrins. So I'm going to put five into the Bulgrins and just the remainder into the squad of guys down here. Okie dokie. So that's 10 shots into the Bulgrins, hitting on twos. Uh, not a single miss. And their toughness is. Five, so wounding on fours. Ooh, not Ooh. so great, not so great. Um, only three. That's enough three. to kill A. Well, so it's AP minus three. Yeah. So five up set. Just enough to kill one. One guy goes. That's good enough for me. And now the rest of the shots, if I'm not mistaken, um, 24 shots. So let me just get my dice together and we'll roll that. A whole mess of shots into these guardsmen, hitting on twos. One, one, one. Okay. There's another one there, thank you. Okay. And let's see if I'm getting all sweaty. These are hard to pick up. And this is just threes. Threes to splat. A lot of twos there, a lot of twos and ones. A lot of twos and ones. These guys are just going to survive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They survived. I can't believe that. The amount of ones and twos. I rolled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like I think I rolled like eleven or twelve ones and twos right there. Lucky, lucky guardsmen. We got to think about that morale. We got to think about that morale. So where are we off next? Is it the Royal this Warden? This hidden Royal Warden here is going to rapid fire into the Bulgrins here, which is a relic here. So he's hitting on threes. Three hits. Uh, this will be forced to wound again. Only one. Uh, it's AP minus... Is that? It's AP minus four, I think, because it's AP minus three, a relic force blaster. Two seconds, I'll check that. Yeah, let's say it makes a difference. Nope, it was AP minus three and you lost the save, so. Sound. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, all shooting done? I do believe that's all shooting done. Okie dokie. Uh, charge phase? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I'll bother. No. Oh, mm. oh, oh. Let me think about it. Pause it and I'll think. Okay, we'll pause it. Right. So, no, sh no combat? No charging. Yeah. Fight phase, this tribe stuff is keeping this executioner busy. And I go first because I'm the defender. <laughs> uh, right then, well, let's try and do something. We did one thing. We did two things. Take an armor save, by the way. It Whee! goes through. It does one damage. <laughs> which he'll heal on his next turn because we're living back. Oh, he knocked the camera. <laughs> So the stalker's tax back now. Yep. Ooh. Over one hit, it would be a five to wound. Nothing. No. So I he's believe... keeping him from shooting and that's good enough for me. That is the end. We'll uh, work out the points. No, we'll... morale. Uh, Indeed, let's do this. Are uh, you I need a one for these guys to survive. Yep. So one runs away. And then one or two he runs away. Nice. Cost. Of course. Same with these guys over here. One runs away. The other survives. Wee. Sticking around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So points recap here at the end of Necron turn two. I realized, well, we realized this is domination. So that five points that I got for that one objective doesn't count because you're supposed to have two or more in order to score. So no five points there. But... I did get three points for being in three table quarters, four. No, four table quarters. Four. Of course, yes, four. Thank you very much. So three points, three points for engaging on all fronts. And then I actually managed to kill enough tanks to get 10 points this turn. So 13 points in total this turn. Right then, so my turn two movement, uh, I've moved these Bulgrims up, because I'm going to charge those guys there, might as well. Uh, he's just healed a additional two wounds, same with this guy here, and then these guys on that objective, um, 
because these Necrom Warriors have Objective Secure, they've now stolen that off of him. So I'm not going to score any primaries this turn. So yeah, uh, let's go into my shooting phase. Because of how this game has gone, I've done my shooting off camera. And uh, this squad managed to take out one destroyer. His heavy bolters did nothing against the stalker. And this guy here only managed to kill five um, warriors because of some really great saves from this man here. So yeah, um, gone into charges. Uh, I'm going to charge the Bulgrins into this squad. Would you like to oh, overwatch? Watch, cool. And then this guy here is going to go into that squad of immortals there. So uh, yeah, if you want to get your dice ready for overwatch, then we'll be back in a second. 28 rapid fire shots and four regular shots going into these guys. Red dice to the regulars. So hitting on um Ooh. Mine will be done only if that's the shooting phase. I not. believe so. In fact, we'll best double check. Let's that. check that because I might just... Cool. From uh, my will be done it says on all your hits, you're hitting in Overwatch, so hitting on five. <laughs> So, it's a uh, force wound. Yep. Mm. Ooh, okay, so it is two, four, six, eight, nine saves, 80 minus. Oh, sorry, seven saves, 80 minus three, two saves, 80 minus two. One Bulgrim was killed in the Overwatch and one reduced down to one wound after failing five saves. So. We'll start with the charge. Four attacks. Four attacks hitting on threes. Uh, three. And then wounding on threes. And this is minus one, but two damage each. Two, two damage. Damage. Six. Six. Oh. Hitting on twos. Okay, wounded on fives. Alrighty, two two of armors. Two two of armors. Yay! Cool. Uh, then over here, uh, be your stalker first. Wound hit. Minus two wounds. Oh, it actually wounded this time. Minus one. Yeah, one goes through. D3 damage. Ooh. Only one. It's... There we go. My attack's back. Uh, yeah, you're still on. Th only just on three. Uh, hitting on sixes. On it. And then on fours. Uh, nothing. Right, well, that brings a very bad turn. Conclusion. Yes. So, end of my turn. Uh, terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, I did, however, score engage on all fronts thanks to that <laughs> lone Bulgrin uh, and these tanks and those troops up in that corner. So, yeah, um, I expect my army will be wiped next turn. So, uh, we'll have a very quick Necron turn three. Alright guys, recapping my command phase, I just gained a command point but then spent it immediately to do my will be done with Ferron's will onto that squad and that squad so that they hit on twos again for this turn. I scored 15 on my primaries um, for basically controlling every objective bar this one. And uh, yeah, that's a wrap of my command phase. Okay, re quick recap of my movement phase. Um, the Royal Warden selected this squad to be able to still shoot and charge after falling back. They fell back. These destroyers mobilized out. This one is looking at that executioner. This one had to line up real nice to see if they can't pop a shot off at that left tire track of the command tank. The monolith moved off the crater to get out of the way of those destroyers. These destroyers moved a little bit. This Royal Warden selected this Triarch Stalker to be able to still shoot and charge after falling back. It fell back so it can use those heavy flamers on these guys. And 
In terms of reanimation protocols, out of the 10 guys that were dead in this squad, eight came back. Out of the four guys that were dead in this squad, three came back. That Triarch Stalker moved a little bit closer as well. Just going to see if he can't pop off that Fulgrim. That's the end of my movement phase. Oh! Satan power. Indeed. And after the Satan power, uh, we'll just do a wrap up shooting phase, I think. Uh huh. Okay. Cosmic Fire. This Lonely Guardsman. On a four up. Yeah, he suffers a mortal wound again. <laughs> The command tank on a four up. Levi's. Nothing. The executioner on a four up. Nothing. Two ones in a row. Hey guys, a quick stop dropping dice. A quick recap of the shooting phase. The guardsmen are no more. The bullgrin died. The command tank died. The executioner died. These guardsmen melted. It's all over. The dead pile for Necrons is three warriors and a destroyer. There's a nice Imperial Guard army going up on eBay, so if you <laughs> <laughs> All right, in terms of uh, points that I scored this turn, I actually forgot about the teleport homer that I set up in the last turn, so the 15 points I got in my command phase actually was 19 points. Um, so, I mean, he'll probably just keep trucking, making teleport homers over there to his heart's content. Um yeah, in terms of the points I just scored, I've maxed out. Um, bring it down, so I can't score any more for that. Another three for um, engage on all fronts. And yeah, so in total in this turn, I got 22 victory points. And then your turn four and five, you'd score possibly the maximum on everything. Else. Well, the most I can score is, have I maxed out um, on all fronts? I will do by the end of it. Um, and yeah, so that's uh, the end of turn. That was that? turn three. That was my turn three. My turn three. You got nothing left, bro. There we go. Uh, yeah, cool. We'll be in the wrap up and we'll see you in a minute. Right, guys. Well, that's it. The final score after we did all the totaling up was 90, what was it? 97 to 16. Take away the painted army. I scored more from having a painted army than I did in anything else in this game. Uh, so it's a bit disappointing, but hey, you know, that's, that's not disappointing for me. No, <laughs> no, 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 true. So, uh, Paul, it was your first game of 9th edition physically, because I know we've played Tabletop Simulator a few times. Mm. How did you find it? Uh, pretty good. But I mean, 9th edition overall. Ninth edition overall, I am kind of gutted that Maelstrom of War disappeared. Mm. I really think that it added a whole lot of sort of dynamism to the game that's just gone, it's just disappeared. It, it, it kind of oversimplified, and when I first heard about that, I was, I was really bummed out. I was like, the game's just going to be so much less interesting. Obviously, they've added a lot of different missions and different deployment types, and not having to set your own objective markers is, you know, you can take it or leave it, it's not really an issue, is it? But um, one thing I don't like is that I deploy, you deploy, I deploy, you deploy. That, yeah, that, 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 why they brought that back, I don't know. Because it just wastes a ton of time in setup. Yeah. Which, you know, meh, I don't like that. But overall, it's still a great game. I still have lots of fun playing it. Um, I'm looking forward to the new Necron Codex. I'm looking forward yeah. to all the new Codexes. You know, it's going to be some really great rules, I'm sure. But um, yeah. I really wish they would bring the cards back. I like drawing those cards and seeing, all right, what am I going to be doing this turn? Yeah. I like to see that because it just it just makes the game interesting. The game then tells its own story. Yeah. Whereas now, if you're going to have a mission type, a certain set of mission types, I think people are just going to start getting used to, oh, it's that mission type. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what yeah, set of objectives to I, take. I, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do the meta but for that. You know, and I hate meta. I just... I like to make things that are interesting, mm. you know? And it, it's well, very like, much like your strategy with this game here, with your deceiver jumping forward and... Well, you see, I really got lucky. Like, you know, I may say, I, I could say, oh yeah, I played really well, but I got some seriously lucky rolls on damage. Um, my heavy destroyers were MVP, they did an incredible job. Absolutely. It's the reason why I take nine of them, because they do <laughs> so well. Insane. That extermination protocols is brilliant. 
To be honest, the combination of the Satana Shard of the Deceiver and Monolith is actually really useful. Because even on the D3, if you roll one, it doesn't matter, you can move that Monolith. And then at least your two big blobs, guys, you can have Veil of Darkness forward and then you can have a Dimensional Corridor bring the other guys forward. Yeah. So at the very least, you've got that. So it's a really good combo. The Monolith does not really perform that much, and it's debatable, it's your choice whether you, know, you, you want to pay for that combination, because that is. The Deceiver, that's like 190 points. The Monolith is 270 points. That's a lot to get that tactic off the board. And it does depend a lot on going first. Yeah. If you don't go first, it's an alpha strike list. If you don't go first, you're in real trouble. You've got to, you're then on the back foot having to play defensively the whole game. Mm. And if I had not have gone first, I still have to move stuff with the Deceiver. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I'll, you know, I guess I'll just move on top of some objectives if I can to stop you from taking them, and, that's, and then just have to take the hits off you. I not want to take the hits off that Bane Blade. I am yeah. over the moon, I managed to kill it before it shot. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, another thing as well um, that worked in my favour was that tiny little spot in the corner that you forgot. Yeah, I know. Um, so that I could put the Deceiver in there. He really screwed up because I was able to flank you. No, not screwed up, he did well. You screwed up because I was able to flank, flank you, sorry. And, um, and, you know, then I managed to get into combat with those executioners and they didn't shoot once in the game. They didn't get to shoot because I had them locked in combat with the Stalker and the Deceiver. So, you know, I was employing some clever tactics in places, but it depended entirely on that very first roll-off. Yeah, and I think that is ultimately what did lose me the game as well. Uh, not going first, like my plan was to take the Chimeras and the Executioners up onto objectives, get the Bane Blade and that other Chimera up onto the objectives, the Bulgrims and the um, Scout Sentinels up on the objectives, and then basically just say, I knew you were going to kill a lot of my army. I, I knew that going into the game. But if I could just sit on them objectives for two turns and net enough um, primary objectives, then that's where I could have excelled a little bit more, but you got in, you boxed me in straight away, and similar to like our game, of, well, probably the last battle report you might see up on yeah, this channel. Yeah. Uh, again, it were, you cornered in, you were able to score the points, I'm stuck in a corner. It's just one of them things. Uh, mm -hmm. But no, it was, it was a decent game. You enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> I thought I it was very much. <laughs> yeah. You thought, um, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Means work. Uh, so, yeah, so they will be on eBay. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, right, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you've got this far, please hit a like on the, um, on the video. Please consider subscribing. We're probably bringing Paul back maybe again for the next battle report. So, you'll see these Necrons again, but they'll be going up against something completely different. Uh, so yeah, look out for that one. Please hit that subscribe button, and if you have made it this far, please put 89 in the comments, that way we know that you've made it all the way through. So thanks a lot for watching guys, and we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Bye. Alright, so Monolith's shooting now. Oh, oh, that fucking dark. Yeah, get it.